the progress that she's made in the last two and a half weeks has been amazing. Since I've been able to kind of work with her, I can see the difference more. She can not stand on her own, but just with that little bit of support, stands better than she ever has. Whoa, stand up! All the way, let's see straight legs. Uh oh, straight legs. See that? All the way, straight legs. Let me see them. All the way straight, all the way straight. So there's been a ton of progress made. I think that the inpatient rehab is a big part of it, and outpatient rehab would not be enough. We wouldn't be as far as we are today going home if we had to do outpatient. One of the important parts of inpatient rehab is the preparation for transition to outpatient. So our team works with the community providers, so those therapists who are seeing the child before the actual surgery, and really helping the outpatient therapists understand what activities and skills the child has been working on on the inpatient side, so that's continued on the outpatient side. The children are getting three hours of daily therapy when they're inpatient. They will still get between three and five days a week outpatient when they go home for at least the first several months. Do this like first. Yep. Family education and parents being on board with everything is really important kind of throughout her stay. It's a lot of teaching parents what's going to be the most beneficial for the child at each stage. Okay, now we're going to do kicks, okay? Two pounds, right? So she can actually do, um, you're going to kick, have her kick straight out? Yeah. She can do a five for that. A five? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. Seven. Girls. Three Almost more. Done. Eight. Nine. Ten. You did it! So if you want to, if you want to sit on the stool. And, and have, have her put her, her hands on my mm -hmm. legs again. Okay, Arabella, you're halfway there. We'll do your other leg and then I'll get you a toy. What toy do you want? Should I go find a good one? Oh! <laughs> You're so sweet, honey. Who's that? Hello! How are you? How are you? It's good. My involvement is in the long term follow up. Are you going to keep walking? There are going to be long-term issues that, that the child is still facing. The tone will be decreased, but the child will still have cerebral palsy. They likely will still have some motor control issues. They still may have some restrictions in range of motion. They may have equipment needs or orthotic needs. They're still going to be receiving therapy in the community. And as a rehabilitation physician, I help to coordinate and make recommendations around some of those issues. In Arabelle's case right now, I don't see a role for orthopedic surgery. Okay. I think she actually, her range is is continuing to get better. It's still a little bit tight on that right side, but um, I don't think orthopedic surgery at this point um, is necessary. Typically, we'll bring that child back within the first couple of months for reevaluation by our whole team, and then periodically over the next year and two. Success after a selective rotator isotomy is a child who has an improved function, and when I'm talking about function, it really is walking abilities they're able to walk further with less energy. The kids have more energy to put towards other activities, towards school and learning. It's successful if the parents are happy, if the child is happy, if they've reached their goals, if they are maintaining range of motion over time better than they would have without the rhizotomy. Yeah. Hi. I am so proud of you, you look great. Can I tell her see you in July? See you in July. I will. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>